Today, I get some expert inputs and insights on martial arts, as well as the everyday individual that comes in to learn from these community members. Today, we had the opportunity to interview Coach Oyama, owner of one of the top martial art gyms in California. I'm here with Coach Oyama from Team Oyama, and um, what's basically going on here right now? What's basically going on here? Uh Uh, we're running through some programs for, for the public and uh, you know, people come from all walks of life to, to experience a little bit of martial arts, and, you know, uh, from housewives to business people to you know, teenagers to professional athletes. So it's an it's interesting mix of uh, individuals. You know, I think at some point people are tired of being a victim thing and uh, they want to feel empowered to maybe take a swing back, you know. Next, we interviewed Brock, manager at Timo Yama, for his input on martial arts. I'm the manager here at Timo Yama as of maybe April. I was fighting full time. They needed a new manager, so here I am. What can combat sports do for other people? Well, combat sports can do a lot of things for other people. It's not just for martial artists or people that are like tough dudes, it's for everyone. If you're kind of looking for a new thing to change up your lifestyle, some people kind of get bored at the gym. It's definitely a new way of picking up a new hobby. People that are dealing with depression, I think that's a big thing. It really helps you get out of your comfort zone. I think this opens up a lot of doors. As Team Oyama is one of the best gyms in California, we were curious to hear what got members into the sport. So what got me into jiu-jitsu is just wanting to protect myself as a kid uh, against bullies mainly, uh, other people. Um, what it's given me is really that confidence that I've been seeking my whole life. Uh, I'm 17 and my brother started doing jiu-jitsu so he just dragged me along. <laughs> um, well I started training here at Team Oyama about a year and a half ago just to make sure that I'm challenging myself and constantly working on being a better martial artist and plus it's fun. <laughs> it's my uh, brother. He actually started fighting in MMA. Got me interested. I played a lot of baseball. I was, I'm very athletic so just got me into it. Team Oyama, number one gym in the country so it is what it is. So yeah. We headed back to Saddleback to get a perspective from full-time college student and Taekwondo practitioner, Delushi. My name is Delushi. I train in Taekwondo. I started in uh, late stages of elementary school and I've just been doing it ever since. A lot of team sports weren't gearing for me, they weren't clicking, and as soon as I discovered martial arts, which is something where you focus on yourself, right, you focus on yourself and your interactions with others, uh, it was, that was it. It clicked. <laughs> From building a community, to personal accomplishment, to keeping our communities safe, martial arts serve an important role in the well-being of Orange County.